Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Martin, remember Martin? He was the guy who ran away from somebody. We protected him. Uh, Martin's our hunter. Martin just got uh, tried to kill a fox, and a fox hurt Martin. Martin's lied down now. Martin's useless. I don't like Martin at all. Uh, you, Atheric, you are carrying wounded to bed. Good. Bloody Martin. That's another guy out now. So now we've got two guys running around while one guy just sleeps for the rest of the day. Anyway, welcome back to our little settlement of God knows what I called this. Or I just let it call itself something. I don't know what we are. Uh, the town of town, town, town. Um... We are making a lot of food, carrots are harvested, all this kind of stuff. We've got deer over here. We just need more people. And I don't understand where the people are coming from. We also need to dig down and get some mining done. But there's just not enough settlers. They're doing other stuff. They're cooking the food so to make sure they have the food and the food doesn't decay. The food is decaying fast. It decays in four days because of temperature. Okay, we really need to dig down here. Who's a good miner? Nobody really. We're going to give these priorities a two. Hopefully that will mean they start doing a little bit more of that. And this guy, Martin, you're useless. You're just going to lie in bed for another couple of days. Right, let's speed the things up. What I really want to do is start to get, you know, there's a, a research which is cartography here, which um, settlers gather at this point. Oh, that's it. Okay, I knew I saw this somewhere. This is it. We need to get this. So we need 30 of the books. We've got 20 at the moment. Ah, right, okay. So that, that's the aim. That's the aim. Okay. So Edward is our bookman, and Edward's pretty good at it. So if we go like a so, we want 10 more books out of here, Edward. He's got like a skill level quite high now. Where is he? Edward. 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 Uh, where's his skill? This one here intellectual skill is 25 which is pretty good settlers are becoming annoyed who is it? it's atheric isn't it yeah atheric's always annoyed um that's the thing when we build this settlers pole or whatever it is atheric can decide to leave uh which might be a good thing for us sleeping gods bum to bum okay we'll come back in a little bit we got a freaking wolf here on the edge of the village uh i wouldn't really call it a village to be honest um and we want to tame him I think that'd be cool because that then becomes like a domesticated dog, yeah. But Martin's just chilling, just sleeping because Martin's useless, uh, and Martin's our uh, tame guy. He's got the best animal husbandry, I do believe. No, he doesn't. Oh, what? What does this one do? Taming. Martin, do the tape. Do that. Oh, that's what I thought he was meant to be doing. But anyway, uh, we're still waiting. We're waiting for Edward to finish off his books. He's, he's doing pretty fast. Look, he's pretty good. 4% each time um, and that increases it was 3% a minute ago uh, alright where are you going you're going to pray right fine Meh. he's praying to the oak brethren and he's praying to the restitutionist shrine I don't know what these things are trees are growing finally apple tree not doing anything useless right yeah we bought that at the start and it's like it's not yielded us a damn thing a damn thing all right, we're still waiting. We'll be back. Joy of joys. Look at this. We have a new settler. He was found faint and bleeding by the citizen of Bid Bidford. Oh, that's us. Bidford. Hunlaf has experienced a woodcutting mishap. Would you let him stay and heal? Let's see what Hunlaf is like. Hunlaf Underwood. I love him already. Underwood is a fantastic surname. Um, 102 kilos, 171. He's a little bit tubby. Uh, he's 43. Actually, it sounds like me, except I'm a bit taller. Maybe not as tubby. <laughs> Maybe I am. A I can't have weighed myself in a long time. I'm probably 102. Ah, uh, crap. Um, <laughs> he's a good animal handling is 21. Mining is 19. Mining is good. We're, we're welcome, welcome, hunt life. Oh, and he, and he passes out. Is somebody going to go get him? Somebody, you going to get him? Are you? You are excellent. This is Atheric, who is the long suffering who basically does everything around here. Edward stands in there really making books all day. Martin just gets sick and lies down. Atheric does pretty much everything. He just harvested all the cabbages and started making all the food and is running around, tending all the stuff. And look, Martin's just trying to train a sheep. 
<laughs> Will you be my friend, sheep? They're stuck in a pen, Martin. We don't need to train them anymore. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's wait until this... Uh, what's his name? Hunlaf wakes up. Okay, so Hunlaf is uh, nearly full uh, full health there. Let's see what he does. Hunlaf is all three threes. He's good at te everybody should be tending and convalescing if they need to be. He's crap at hunting. We don't care for that. Constructing, growing, animal husbandry. Let's give you a one, and so then let's take Martin down to a two on that. Cooking, you got a star, so we're going to give you a star. We're going to take Martin off that and give you a three. And carpentry. What is carpentry? making items and weapons out of food we don't have either of those things yet so not to worry hauling we want you to do it um and yeah that should be good i guess i guess you're gonna be uh our cooker hauler man yeah fine um he is not ready yet come on man wake up well rested not hungry deep arm laceration is moderate i've also just built some stairs down over here which is where we're going to put our i guess I don't know, food storage thing down there I think is the way to do it because it is 25 degrees outside. Our food is probably rotting. This is all raw food sitting there. Uh, decaying because of temperature, yes. Anyway, the research is complete. Not the research is complete, but the books are complete. We can now do cartography. We can unlock this, which is excellent. And we can build our little, what's that? Cartography table. It's a map which is great. We do like maps. Caravan Halt. Settlers gather at this point. Let's pop him like over here. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, we've also got a funeral pyre now. I didn't notice that. So we can burn everyone. Fun. Uh, that sounded quite evil. I don't want to burn everyone, but you know, just in case we need to. That it, we, It's good to have the option. It's good to have the option. Uh, everything else we have currently, so we need to do more bloody... I just don't want Edward just to be making books all the time. What's that wolf? Uh, Edward's construction skill. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I think we need to mine more of this space out. I think it needs to be quite large if we want to put some storage stuff down there, no? I wish these guys would get on with it. What was Martin doing? He's just moving ash around. Because he's, he's useless, Martin. Can you wake up on life? On life? He's still convalescing. We're going to turn him to aggressive. Everybody's aggressive. Oh, he just flipped over in his bed. Sorry, Hon Life. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Ah, this is done. Sweet. What happens now? Nothing, I guess. The one thing I'm noticing is there's, there's no roads. We can't build roads? What would roads be under, do you reckon? Maybe where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> Uh, hmm, hmm. All right, well, I guess we're waiting for somebody to come so we can have more settlers. In the meantime, I think we should start to build another house. Build another house. We eventually want to get them into their own houses. I think that's a fair point. What's this? Oh, there, yeah, the cartography table. Let's start planning out some houses. And I think the smartest way to do the planning of the houses is with the with the floors. Okay, so we have the thing here and have the, the thing here. We've got to put walls around these things. I think we probably want to, we're going to want fields over this side. Maybe over this side? I think so. Let's do it. Let's give them a little bit of space. I would prefer if we had some more space. So let's actually just make little houses. Tiny house. Tiny house. Tiny house. Now, this is probably going to get the whole roof trouble we had before because they're too close, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see. Let them build that up for sure. We're getting a ton of limestone out of this. I like limestone for the flooring. Uh, I think that looks good. I wonder if it helps things keep cool. I think, you know, that would be realistic, wouldn't it? Limestone flooring is cooler than wooden flooring. And by cooler, I mean more hip, more funky, more with it, more down with the kids. Hmm, possibly. All right, let me get these houses built up and see if anybody's going to turn up at our settlers' caravan halt. Now we've got all three of these idiots trying to heal Honlaf, which looks very odd, to be honest. But it's because I have them all at um, maximum tending. But I still think it's good. He woke up immediately, so that's not a bad thing. Uh, still trying to build this thing out. They're just not hauling and moving stuff. You know, they chop down a tree, leave the wood on the side. And this takes ages then for the guy to come and get the wood. So I've put them all to hauling one. 
Um, but remember, it does go left to right, so if they've got other things to do. As we get more people, if we get more people, hopefully we get more people, uh, that's going to be managing this will be more important. Um, I can't imagine as a game this is going to do, we're going to have like 20,000 people, is it? Because it'd be impossible to manage. Well, I hope we had, that'd be great if we're managing 20,000 people. It'd be nuts, but great. Super great. Anyway, let's get back to waiting. Okay, so I've worked out what's happening with Hunlaf here. I just thought he was keeping on getting sick and he never healed himself. Now, because I've got him on, um, like, taming animals, and he keeps on going out and trying to tame animals that are killing him. Uh, so he just, a, a group of wild boar arrived. There's a couple of them around here. And you can see I've said, tame them. That'd be great. We could have little boars around. Uh, and this one up here somewhere, there's one just there. This guy <laughs> attacked him. So then he's hurt again. And he has to sleep. So possibly what we're not, we're going to stop taming these things. We're just going to hunt them. Uh, it's probably a better thing to do. I don't know what other animals I've set him to tame. There was a wolf around I wanted him to tame. But maybe we're trying too hard. <laughs> and we should just let poor Unluff. Because he's just going out there and getting ravaged by wolves. He's like, hey little wolfie. Will you be my friend? And the wolf's like, Arr! And he's like, oh crap. And then he comes back home and sleeps for two days and then goes outside and says, Hey, boar, will you be my friend? The boar's like, Rawr! and he's like, Rawr! So, yeah, that's probably my fault. I apologize, Hunt Life Underwood. That was my um, my mistake. <laughs> like, what's he getting hurt over here? <laughs> he's just hitting the boar with a fist and the boar's just goring him. Oh, boy. Ah, poor Hunt Life. Poor Hunt Life. He's going to die soon, without a doubt. How old is he? Look, he's 43, man. He's, he's definitely going to die. He hasn't lost any weight, though. Fat bastard. <laughs> All right, come on. Yeah, kill it. Kill the deer. We don't actually need to hunt so many animals. We've got so many carrots and and, and cabbages. Uh, and the milk from these guys were kind of okay, to be honest. What we do want is wood. Nobody's chopping down enough trees, to be honest. Wood is going to be an issue. We have got our forest over here, which will be ready in about a day or two. So we're going to chop all that down. But yeah, wood is a thing. We should have pl started planting a lot earlier because it just takes ages. To, we could go all the way out here and chop everything down. It just takes a long time. And they just leave the wood out there. Anyway, we're still waiting for this damn thing to be finished. Uh, and now Martin's fighting a boar with his fists. I thought he had a sword. Martin has a sword. He's got a bow and arrow, but he's just punching the boar. Martin's going to die. Martin's going to die from a boar. Martin, go home. Or should we just let him die? Whoop, oh, Martin's dead. <laughs> no. Oh. And look, the graves are so close to the houses now. Too bad. Build another grave. Where is it? In the unmarked grave of Martin. Damn it. These boar are aggressive. Let's stop hunting them in, in anything. Let's just leave them alone. Three boar have now hurt and killed one of our settlers. Is this is what happens in real life? It is. Boar. Oh no, he, he's running at somebody. Was he running at somebody? No. So they're not aggressive to us. They're just there. Martin's in the grave now. Back down to three people. Great. <laughs> Look, we built this large place. We've got beds for hundreds. Beds for hundreds. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. What does that mean? Who's our hunter now? Uh, jobs? Who's good at hunting? Where's hunting? Hunt. Nobody's good at hunting. Hornluff, you're our hunter now. Go and pick up the... Where is it? Where's the things that the dude dropped? There. Okay, they're not um, forbidden, so they will eventually pick those up, I believe. I hope. I've also turned the food down. They were making food forever. Now we're just saying make 50 because we have 47 stews. That's quite a lot of stews. And red currant pie and roasted meats and raw meat and cabbages for days. 46 cabbages. Um, and I think everything's lasting a little bit longer. Now we've got these shells, which is good. I haven't seen anything rot for a while, which is a good thing. Okay, we're just waiting for settlers. Watch out for the fox. I'm not going to say attack the fox because it seems that everybody's dying from attacking the animals. Um, we just need to get more wood. Finish this. So chop down more of these trees, I think. 
Yeah, chop down those trees. Cool. Coming back. I think, unfortunately, Hunlaf has dug himself into a hole and he's stuck down there now. Because <laughs> he slept down there. Um, he slept down there last night. <laughs> I think he's getting pissed off. <laughs> the other guys are like, where's Hunlaf? Oh, I haven't seen him in days. He's just digging this hole. Um, he needs to dig this bit out here and then we can put another staircase in, please, Hunlaf. Actually, I want to mine uh, this as well. Get it all done, Hunlaf. Hurry up. Or are you sleeping in the hole again tonight? <laughs> and something else cool that I didn't realize is that, so we planted these trees. What they do now, as you can see Atheric is doing, is they chop and then they replant, which is super cool. It's a super cool little mechanic because I was like, oh, is there going to be some woodsman who can, you know, chop and replant? But because they planted, they immediately replant the tree. So this is now going to be our perennial wood, which is fantastic. Um, what's this? That's an apple tree. Three apple trees next to each other. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is growing more apple trees. So this will eventually become an orchard. That's good. But do we ever harvest the apples? I don't get it. It used to be when I clicked on the apple tree, it showed me like a, a menu that I could say cut or don't cut and all this kind of stuff. Now it doesn't. It's interesting. I don't know what to do with that. Um, but it looks like wood will now not be much of an issue as long as they keep on bringing it back. Settle, settlers are idle. Who's idle? Ah, Hunlaf is stuck down the hole. That's why he's idle. Okay, give me a second, Hunlaf. We're going to build you a staircase. Wait, pause, pause it up. Settlers are starving. What? Okay, wait a second. Wait, 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 what's happening? First off, let's good. Yeah, Hunlaf is probably starving because he's down the hole. Is it you that's starving? Ravenous, yes. Okay, so let's speed this up and hopefully Edward will come and quickly build the stairs. Edward? He's running through the building instead of around the building because he's a maniac. Edward, finish the stairs. Hunlaf is going to die down there. Stairs, man, stairs. There he goes. And bam, Hunlaf can now escape. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's torturous. He's in the hole. He's like, guys, guys, I'm in the hole. Guys, guys, I'm in the hole. And they're just like running around, chopping trees, doing their shit. Like, Where's Hunlaf? I don't know. I haven't seen him in days. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, so he should be eating. He should be fine now. Not hungry yet. Good, he ate. Fantastic. Okay, so but this is going to be our storage area. So Hunlaf actually needs to come back and dig out the rest of this. This is going to be where we store our food for all time. We're going to actually take this bit away as well. And this bit, like that. It's going to be a nice... And we're going to put a roof on there. A wicker roof, I think. Uh, should be nice. Should be nice. All right. Let's just let them run around for a bit. Okay, and we had a traveler come by with some stuff. So let's see what they've got here. They do have ale, which is super nice. Which is probably what we want. Uh, leather we don't need, linen we don't need, saplings we don't need, mechanical components we have, oh we don't want to sell that. Cabbage, carrots, all these are all the things we have already, so I think we're just going to get some ale for the guys, which should make them happy. If we get two of those, and then I think we can swap them some of our chronicles, which we've just started making. And they're worth quite a lot. Oh, three chronicles. Let's do like that. Four chronicles. Okay, fine. Accept. Cool. So now we've got the chronicles going on. Uh, we've got the ale going on, which is going to make everyone a bit happy. Where's it? Where is it? You putting it inside here? Are you? No, you're just going to sit down and drink it. Yeah, you, he's he basically bartered for the ale, and he went straight inside, sat down, and drank. He didn't tell Edward. He didn't tell uh, poor Hundluff down in the hole. He's just drinking the Atheric Cynic and I'm getting drunk. Cheeky bugger. Even though we've created one, two, three, four, and now five bedrooms, Edward and Atheric like to sleep in the same room, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But it does seem odd. I kind of thought they would go straight into their separate bedrooms. Like their own bedrooms would be a more positive thing for them, make them feel happier. But it doesn't seem entertainment, job, job satisfaction doesn't seem that anything this makes him happier that he's by himself in a room and these guys don't seem to be happier that they're sharing a room so I don't know what that is um, we're slowly getting this done we're losing a lot of food 
to rotting. Uh, but we're slowly getting this uh, pit dug. I've just done a little bit extra. We're going to create walls around, I think, and then a floor, so it becomes a proper building. Uh, autumn. Okay. It's a season for preparing for winter, tailoring warm clothing and stocking up. Tailoring. Tailoring is something we need to get going. For sure. Now, I've got Edward doing some research. Tailoring costs 20. We need three more, so that should just be a minute or two. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we will leave that for the next episode to see if we can survive. I've got to be honest. There's three of them, and they're, um, they're getting old. They're getting old. 42. They're all in their 40s. I think they're going to start to die soon. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But I'll catch you in the next episode where we're going to focus on tailoring, finishing off our food hole, and maybe making some more, I think, defensive structures. We haven't been attacked for a while. So maybe that's something to focus on as well. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.